Okay, today I'm going to talk to you about inexpensive electrical tools for mechatronics. I've done this experiment before with Amazon. Uh, obviously, we've got a relationship with Klein Tools, and they provided us an excellent kit. Um, in addition to that, We've used some kits that are very expensive from Phoenix Contact. And I did an experiment uh, last year with, um, with Walmart. I went to Walmart and bought a kit. And this is the kit that I got at Walmart. It does a pretty good job. Um, it's not really ideal, but it does a pretty good job. Today, I went to Harbor Freight. And I said, if I were to buy everything that I need to buy, for basic electrical work, then what I came up with, with only a couple of things that I didn't buy for about 50 bucks. So let's talk about what that is. First of all, I got a tool roll called a storehouse tool roll. It's this kind of rubberized uh, nylon, very heavy duty, looks very sturdy. I think it's gonna do a really good job. It cost about 12 bucks, part number 93828. It's called a 14 pocket tool row. And uh, it comes in a little plastic baggie. And this is what the little label is that uh, it comes with so that you can recognize that. It's, um, it looks like it's gonna work. It's got a little bit of a stink to it. There's just like a slight nylon-y, vinyl-y smell going on, but it looks like it's going to be really good and sturdy. So let's start loading up this tool row. Now, the first and most important thing with all mechatronics toolkits is your electrical screwdrivers. And Harbor Freight had an actually relatively inexpensive, and they look like they're pretty good quality, um, precision, they're called, they're called electrician screwdrivers, they cost 10 bucks, 9.99, and they look pretty decent. So let's open these up and see how they do and just kind of judge quality. Now you really don't know a quality of a screwdriver for sure until you've uh, used it for a while and you see how well it wears. That is the determination of a quality of screwdriver. If they start to wear and round over slightly too early, in their life, like in the first year or two of their life with regular use, then you know you've got a crappy screwdriver. These, I assume, are crappy because they're only 10 bucks for a full set of seven screwdrivers. So let's pull a few out. Let's pull all the flathead screwdrivers out. Take a look at them. All right. Well, first of all, these are electrician certified. Uh, I'm not sure who certified them. It does not appear to be OSHA or any regulatory body in the United States, but they appear very much like the thousand volt screwdrivers that you can buy that have insulation on the shafts. And so I kind of like that, even if it's not officially certified, it says that it's good for a thousand volts and it kind of looks like it might be. The grip on them is pretty solid. It's not sticky and nasty the way some cheap plastic grips are. It feels like it's going to be good and sturdy. The tips are great, in my opinion, for doing electrical work in control panels because they don't have the flare. They don't have that flare on the tip. They're straight shank tips, which means they can go right into terminal blocks and turn relatively small screws. There's a number one and number two. Uh, what looks like a three eighths and then like it's a big heavy duty quarter inch. So I actually like the feeling of these. Let's take a look at the Phillips head. Um, the clamshell is, as usual, a pain to get into. The Phillips head also look pretty sturdy. They've got a good high quality tip on there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a piece of other steel. I've got a good piece of good pair of scissors here, um, very old school. And I'm going to see if I can, with the back of the scissors, scrape the, the tip and wear the tip down. And no, that tip is hardened, which is excellent. So these appear to be decent quality screwdrivers. Um, they are uh, in this big clamshell. Their clamshell looks like that. 
Pittsburgh seven piece electrician screwdriver set for basically 10 bucks. Not bad at all. So we're just gonna set these aside and look at the next thing in my kit. The next thing in my kit, the probably the most important single device uh, in your kit is wire strippers. Now these are combination strippers. They've got a cutter. It's good for cutting a variety of copper. They've got a variety of strippers from uh, 20 gauge to 10 gauge. That's a good range. They've got uh, bolt cutters for very small bolts from 832 and 1032 bolts only. And it's got a pretty good comfortable grip. Spring looks pretty good. Um, I would call this decent quality. Uh, you won't know for sure till you cut something. And uh, you see if the cutters get bent, you'll know for sure when you start stripping and the strippers start to get worn uh, prematurely. But this is only $5. So really, honestly, as a travel stripper for five bucks, you can't beat that. That is great. So the next thing in here is, um, I would say from an electrician standpoint will be their linesman's pliers. Linesman's pliers, I went with a slightly higher brand in uh, Harbor Freight. They have slightly better brands. And the linesman's pliers, I probably spent the most amount of money for any single tool. In this case, it's $10 or $9.99 for this Quinn brand of linesman's pliers. And let's pop it out of the clamshell. And oh yeah, this feels very sturdy. It's got a sheen of oil on it. It's, uh, it's feels very smooth. It's got a really heavy duty cutter. So this is great for heavy duty commercial power electrical work. It's really, really good. Now, one thing that we run into mechatronics quite often is crimping. So I always recommend getting a decent crimping tool. And so I picked the Pittsburgh nine and a half inch crimping tool. It's relatively cheap at $6.49. It's got a lifetime warranty. Oh my goodness. I have a lifetime warranty crimper tool. I guess I need to save this uh, little thing so I can get my lifetime warranty. It feels great. It's a cast handle that's been ground down and it feels really solid. It's actually got a cutter in the front. It's got a small crimper right back in the middle there and then a big crimper further back for doing uninsulated crimps. So this is for all sorts of crimp connectors and it's a really nice tool from the look of it. Great for $6.50. Now, the last tool that I purchased for my main kit is small screwdrivers, set of precision screwdrivers. Now, these are sort of optional, depending on what sort of mechatronics work you get into. If it's mostly heavy duty stuff, you probably won't need these. But if you do any sort of computer work or small adjustments to sensors, then having a set of very small screwdrivers is excellent. And I love this style of small screwdrivers. This set of screwdrivers was only four bucks, so it was super cheap. And this set of screwdrivers has these little spinny tops, these little bright green tops, they spin. So you can put your finger on that and then twist the bottom. You can get a lot of pressure behind that to open up very hard to open things. And they're very precise, small. So they're, they start off roughly uh, equivalent to the smallest set here, but then they go smaller down to as little as an eyeglass screw or tiny adjustment screws you get in a mechatronics kit. I'm not sure how this is gonna fit into my roll. We're gonna have to see where I can tuck these in, but that's basically it. Now, the one thing that you will need in all of this, which I did not include in this kit is um, a knife. So there are, there are inexpensive um, shop knives you can buy. And I'm probably just gonna throw uh, this one into this kit and take it in for mechatronics.
Okay, we've put all the tools in the roll. Um, we, uh, I don't know that I like this configuration, but it seems to work. I've got all these little screwdrivers in one pocket over here. It's kind of a pain because I'm gonna have to take them all out to figure out how to grab the right screwdriver. I've got my crimper, I've got my uh, linesman's pliers, I've got my stripper crimper here, and uh, then I've got my screwdrivers all lined up, and then my uh, my blade, my knife over here. And I think it really works pretty well. It makes for kind of a large bundle. I think I'm going to roll this so that the little screwdrivers are on the inside. Roll this right up. And this slide does a good job. I'm pretty happy with this bundle. It's easy to throw this in the vehicle and carry this on the job site. So I think it works pretty well. 